Good day, Bruce. All right, now, Karen, let's just go ahead. Are worshippers allowed to attend the church today? And what are the restrictions? Yes, yeah, so I'm now reporting from one of the Catholic Church in Jakarta, St. Theresia Church. And as we all know that, I am reporting on the ongoing of the Christmas Eve Mass, which is the biggest celebration of all Christians and Catholics around the world. And um, um, the church, as for the uh, church preparation for the offline Mass, as we all know that the Archbishop of Jakarta has prepared and implemented their own system for all the Catholic communities in their uh, respective regions in a form of a website called a Bella Rasa ID and Bella Rasa ID was made as a system to expand the service ranges in worship and sacrament liturgy and economic empowerment as reflection of the church presence in the world and in this particular uh, discussion is Indonesia and the website itself has several features that all the Catholic communities can access uh, such as sacrament registration sacrament schedule like um, the masses and prayers and everything the mass text on uh, the list of the prayers as well as the parish and diocesan donation and as uh, for the economic empowerment that I've mentioned before as one of the features in the website that is made by the archbishopric is um, the economic empowerment meaning that they are opening job vacancies, marketplace, knowledge sharing uh, for the Catholic communities to access on their website. And talking about the health protocol that is ongoing in here, of course, all the communities that uh, can come to the offline mass are the one registered in the Bishopric and uh, Diocesan Integrated Database Jakarta, or locally known as Biduk. And uh, uh, the people that can come uh, that can come here is the one that is registered in the uh, Biduk uh, registration system that is made by the Archbishop. Uh, Archbishopric. And as for the health protocol, uh, the people that came here uh, has to make sure that they are all uh, fully vaccinated through the government's official app, Peduli Lindungi. And they are also applying the standardized uh, health protocol, such as uh, wearing masks, washing hands, and watching distance. And also, they have to register themselves through uh, Bella Rasa ID as the system from the Archbishopric in Jakarta. And as for the online donation for the parish and the diocesan that I've mentioned before, uh, uh, as part of the health protocol to avoid any kind of cash um, exchange in order to avoid any kind of virus transmission. They are also opening online donation through QR code for the parish and the bio season in the, in the church. Bruce. Karen, this is Crazy speaking. What about the vehicles? Can they go inside the area or should they avoid the area? And where do they park? Yes, uh, Crazy. So all the worshippers that come here for the offline mass are not allowed to park uh, their vehicles inside the area of the church. And this church has applied that protocol for a long time now. Even before the pandemic, they cannot uh, park their vehicles here. They have to park it outside. But now they are working together with the nearest school in this uh, area, which is the St. Theresia School, private school. And they are parking their vehicles in that area, guarded also by the police. And as we all know that the people that come here are, all, are only the registered Catholic population in Jakarta so it is considered as a limited visitors or in this case worshippers so it is all um, well guarded in here it is measured well it is safe and integrated by the church as well as by the police that are guarded in this area for them to park it outside and then come uh, for the church only for the offline mass and then proceed to go back outside after the mass is done uh, so the church can be clean uh, for the health protocol for the next Mass. So as we all know that the Mass has just ended uh, earlier today at 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. and the next Mass is going to be here at 6 p.m. And for those who can come here are only the registered um, Catholic population through the integrated database in Jakarta. All Catholic communities can access the Mass through online as well from the St. Theresia Church um, official YouTube channel. Crazy. Now, Karen, you spoke about the police and their measures to tighten the security, but have they tightened security around the church? And is there an extra layer of security around the premises? Yes, Bruce, uh, you're right. So there are actually, um, the police are gearing up security measure arrangement in this area. They have uh, put up 
uh, tent outside the church to sa uh, safeguard the place and the police carrying out their best duties to safeguard the celebration of the biggest day in uh, Christian and Catholic communities around the world, which is uh, the Christmas Day. And uh, the police as well as the church are working together to heighten the security measures to prevent any kind of unwanted um, circumstances such as, you know, um, like uh, unwanted attacks aimed at the Christian or Catholic communities that happened prior uh, in the years before. So uh, the church and the police, I can, um, can, I can ensure that the church and the police are working very well together to make sure that all the circumstances in the situation is very well guarded in here. People are coming here with health protocol and people are, you know, safely guarded with the police outside and the tents and as well as the security from the church itself. So let's all hope that all the celebration of Christmas uh, from all the Christian and Catholic communities in all over Indonesia is going to be um, proceeding well until the Christmas uh, day tomorrow. Back to the studio. All right. And to that, amen. Amen to that. Thank you so much, Karen, for the complete report. Please stay safe and stay healthy. So, yeah, now the Catholic...